due to COVID-19, we're not able to have our camera crew and audio crew travel with us, and they will not be able to go into certain restaurants. So we have to show you. You gotta eat, drink, and handle your business shit. Eat, drink, and handle your business shit. Eat, drink, and handle your business shit. Eat, drink, and Check him here in Orlando, Florida at Bad A Sandwich. I don't want to cut him on my mama to get mad at me. <laughs> We're going to check this out. Let's go. What made this place cool was the menu. I mean, looking at the menu, it took me probably 15 minutes to decide what I want. I got the IRA or the IRA. It's a corned beef pastrami, Havarti house sauerkraut, and I added those house pickles. Man, it was crazy. With the Thousand Island, loved it. Kings Point was a sleeper because we went there on a late night because we didn't feel like really going out nowhere and just expecting to get like a burger and some wings and stuff and some empanadas. But it was delicious, especially the beef empanadas. You have to check those out. But the burger was great. Everything was good. And they have Brazilian food on the menu as well. So you definitely want to check all of that out. All right, so we're getting ready to go to Shaker's American Cafe, right? We've been invited in by the owners to be try some food here. Uh, a lot of videos that I do at restaurants is my first time trying them, but this one right here is not. This place has won best breakfast in Orlando for several years, and I've been here before, and they have an omelet that I'm gonna show you when we get inside. So just come on roll with us. Shaker's American Cafe was my featured restaurant on this particular food trip. And the reason that it was because I've been here before and I really enjoy their food. Um, they have a great, great menu and they've been voted best breakfast several times in them by the Orlando Sentinel and other places. You see they're called shakers because of these shakers that they have, all these different types of shakers. You need to get some Seminole shakers in there, but they got the Popeye, the cupcakes, they have the White House, all kinds of different stuff. And as I said, they were the Foodie Award winners for best breakfast. And look at this menu, guys. And this is just the breakfast specials. They also have meatloaf and um, all kinds of different stuff for lunch. But I had the number three, the lump crab and asparagus. I want to try the beef short rib hash. And then she had the cinnamon roll pancakes, which were to die for. And look at this right here. I mean, just the lump crab, grilled biscuits, guys. Grilled biscuits. Yeah, I said grilled. And then they have the potatoes with the red onions. So, you know what I'm saying? Just check me out while I try this. Then the cinnamon roll pancakes were delicious. And you see that with the, the sausage and the eggs. I mean, just a great spot to go to. Then we went to Oshawott. Oshawott, I had these chili cauliflower things. These joints were so good. And then they had, they were addictive. And then they had this grilled salmon, like tandoori salmon just to die for delicious then we went to cafe 22 tango off international drive it was so packed in here guys that we had to get takeout okay not just because of covid but it was just so many people Orlando's wide open right now but we got this pizza i mean the pizza with uh salt meatballs on it it was delicious uh, we also had this these egg rolls which were uh, like a chicken cordon blue egg roll awesome and then we also had the the brussels sprouts now the brussels sprouts were to die for now that's our Orlando food trip. Um, if you want to see us go check out any place anywhere in the United States, make sure you hit us up at Eat and Drink TV. And we'll be back with another food trip soon.